goodness. My camera's falling. Okay. All right. It's our first chill podcast, art cast, live cast, live stream. Today I thought we'd keep it a little low energy and work on something different for once. I know I usually fixate on um, realism portraits or trying to paint things that look uh, hyper real, but today I want to take a bit of a break from that. And I remember in our last episode, um, one of you guys had suggested that I paint a bunny. So that's what I'm going to do this episode. I am going to start by forming the background first. So I just drew a rough sketch. I'm not the best sketcher by any means. Like, I'm okay if I take my time on it, but I don't have the patience for that. I would much rather just paint and take my time ironing out the details while I'm painting. All right. So the first thing I want to do is get his background set up. So to do that, we're going to need a darker blue. The paints that I'm using, they're from the dollar store, so you can get them yourself for very cheap. They're also at your local Walmart, Heart store, um, pretty easy to source. It's called acrylic crafters. And this is what I've been using since, well, since I started painting. Um, I really like this type because it has like a matte finish to it, like it's dark. So, yeah. I'm going to get a bit of darker blue, and to get there, I think what I want to do is get some Pacific blue. Oh, that's sapphire blue. And we're going to add some black to it to darken it up. And I'm going to challenge myself this video to finish this as much as I can. Or finish it all together. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay. So I just need the right kind of brush to apply that. I guess I will pick this one. And you know what? I forgot my water well. I will be right back. I'm back. And we got our water well. I'll start by getting the brush wet. And something I picked up a long time ago, just from learning and watching others paint, is it's good to prime up your canvas a little bit with uh, water so that the paint sticks to it or absorbs better. You don't have to do this, but if you're a new painter or you're just starting out, I would recommend doing this because it'll just help your paint apply better, smoother. And you can be a little generous with it, it's okay. We're going to coat that in paint anyways, so the idea is to moisten up that canvas so it takes that paint better. And that's it. You don't want it too, too wet, but you don't want it too, too dry. Just like a nice little glaze, like you see it now. Cool. All right. So the first thing I think I want to do is get his background done. And then after that, we can move on to the next part. So to do that, I've got this darker blue. And we're just going to set darker background. And you see how that water is just making it apply a little bit easier? So if your canvas was dry, it would just drag across, and sometimes if you're going for that look, that's awesome, but the idea here is to get a nice light coat going, and it doesn't have to be perfect. I think with what I love most about painting is you don't have to be perfect. Whatever works for you, whatever you like doing, do that, you know? I don't think there's one way to do one thing ever. There's so many ways to get things done. 
And I know nothing about nothing, so <laughs> who am I to tell you how to paint? As long as you're having fun and you make something that's beautiful in your eyes and you love it, that's all that matters, right? Just a general update if uh, you guys are new tuning in. I recently found out that I am going to be a mama. I'm really excited about that. It hasn't really hit me yet, to be honest with you guys. It still feels a little bit surreal. And then I'm just going to keep painting. So my idea is we're going to have our Mr. Bunny Rabbit here. He's going to be laying on top of a light blue like blanket. And we're going to have some stars, like, around him, because he's sleeping. And we'll touch that up with a little bit more blue, because I want it to be a little more vibrant. So I'm going to switch brushes, too. So I'm going to need a different color. I think I want a sharper blue in there, so we're actually going to add some peacock blue. Some of these paint bottles, like this one you see right here, I think I have had this one for years. I just can't seem to finish it. Um, I use it in such light doses. When I paint, um, I'm a little bit conservative with how much paint I use, so I try not to waste as much as I can and use up everything. I'll be conservative about it, I guess. So we're going to get that blue. And I want... A nice little shader brush, just like that. Can you see that okay? And then we're just gonna add it as like an accent to the back wall here. I don't know if I can get this done in half an hour. Oh my god, I'm seven minutes in already. It's crazy. It's okay, even if I'm not, that's fine. Although, the challenge is to get this done before the end of our stream here. It's really exciting going live uh, last week. And got some great feedback. Just encouraged me to keep going. So, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I think what I love most about acrylic is, unlike oil, it dries much quicker first. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, I feel like I can just do more with it. I can add as many layers as I want, but with oil, like, I have to wait and manipulate it, and it's so finicky. I guess I just like the ease of um, using acrylic. Now I wanted to give this painting away for free, so if anybody's interested in it, uh, send me a message. Um, if you go to our main channel there, you'll see our links like underneath our channel description. And you'll be able to see our contact email address, so shoot me an email and uh, I'll send this over your way for free. Like I don't want anything for it. I think just sharing my art with others that are like genuinely interested and it just means a lot more to me, you know. Um, we're just gonna put the white. Now I think this is where wetting the canvas plays against me a little bit. That's why I don't do it too often, but as a new beginner trick, it's awesome. See how the paint's dragging? It's not really sticking. Well, it's because I applied water, but it's okay. So that's that layer. We wanted to have like a light powdery blue. He's going to have a light blue blanket. Yeah, we're going to use a bit of our sky blue. I don't even know if they sell sky blue. Every time I've been going to the store, it's been out of stock. So I think I might have a rare color on my hands. Like they don't make them anymore. It might be discontinued, maybe. 
which is funny because it's like my go-to. I, I use that one a lot, especially when I'm trying to make like light gray and just mix white with a little bit of sky blue. And if you do it just right, it'll look like um, light gray. All right. Hi, hi. Oh my gosh. Doodle world. <laughs> hi, welcome. Yes. Told you I was going to make a bunny. <laughs> this one's for you. <laughs> hey, welcome. Yeah, so in today's video, I wanted to paint a quick little bunny. And you inspired me for this, actually. So I want to thank you very much. Um, I really appreciated you joining me last time. So... I wanted to do this for you in a way. <laughs> Don't mean to say that in a cheesy way, but <laughs> just really appreciate ya. So yeah, I'm doing a cute little bunny and he's gonna be sleeping. Oh, sorry about the background noise there. Mr. G is just packing up some stuff. He was packaging his soaps today. Oh, I hope you've been having a good week. The last time we spoke, you had mentioned that uh, you were going to have some pretty big life changes soon. So I hope everything's going all right. And I was, uh, just before you joined, actually, I was saying in this video that, um, oh, I'm glad it's okay. Good, good. I was saying how I want to give this painting away for free. So if you want it, like I know you're young, definitely have your parents like get in touch with me or something. Uh, I have an email address in our channel's like main description, like on the front page. If you go there, you'll see like our contact uh, email address, and, and I can share this out. It's off. It's open to everybody too. Like whoever contacts me first. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I wanted this to be like my own little uh, thank you gift for like just watching and joining me. Um, so in this video, I also said that I wasn't going to take too much time. I'm, I'm actually trying to challenge myself to finish this in half an hour. So we'll see how it goes. So far, so good. We might add another coat, but that's okay. So now we want to get the bunny. Now my biggest advice with you, whenever you're trying to paint an animal of any kind, try to think about what their skin color is underneath that fur the reason why i say that is because you want to lay that down first almost like you're doing their skin and then you want to build your layers on top especially when you're working with acrylic so to get his skin tone bunnies are a little bit more purpley oh be oh please please don't be sorry don't be sorry at all gosh Oh, I'm just glad you're here. Hi. <laughs> just happy to have you. Um, okay, so I'm going to get a little bit of purple. And as I was mentioning, I wanted to get a little bit like a, a skin tone going for him. Because when we add like the white afterwards, it's just going to make it pop that much more. So I know this looks a little scary right now, but give it a chance. So what I did here is I took uh, some water and I diluted that down and that is completely okay. This is how I start most of my paintings actually. I'll start with like a light layer like this. It helps to prime the canvas. I'm not sure if you've heard of like priming before. Basically means you're trying to set the canvas up for um, extra layers of paint so that it sticks together. So right now we're just getting his delicate little skin tone and it's going to be like a pinky purple so it's okay if you're a little darker because the fur is just going to cover that up anyways. But this is going to be like the shadow underneath the fur. You'll see what I'm talking about. Try to go faster here. I think I can get this done in 30 minutes, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Doodle World. We appreciate you. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's, this week's been interesting. I've been trying to finish that lion painting that uh, you saw last time. Because um, I'm trying to get it done for an art gallery, or like an art fair. 
in Toronto. And it's getting there, it's getting there. I spent some time working on it today. It's a little tough though, like with my pregnancy, I find that some days are better than others. Like today I feel good, but yesterday I just did not feel good at all. Goodness. Oh, you just came back from painting. Nice. Isn't it so much fun? Gosh. Ugh. You know, I can't wait for the day where I can just do this full time and just focus on like my art all day. That's the dream. Maybe my lion painting will get famous. <laughs> and people will discover that I have talent. <laughs> with painting I think for me personally I think I just want to be seen I want people to see my talent and my skill and you know I want to show the world what I'm made of oh okay so my most liked painting like do you mean like what painting people have liked the most is, is that what you're asking or which one's my personal favorite Aw, thank you, dear. I appreciate you. <laughs> You're really sweet. Last time when we went off, I was like, gosh. I was so flattered. <laughs> thank you so much. I really hope all is well in your world. I know you mentioned you were going to go away for school last time, I believe. I'm not sure when that move is going to be for you, but I hope you're uh, getting excited and and uh, gearing up to go. Yeah, okay, so I'll show you my favorite painting. Hold on, let me go grab it. I'll go get it for you. <clears throat> now, I don't know if you've heard of this story, but have you ever read The Little Prince? Or have you heard of The Little Prince? Okay, so you're leaving in June. All right. It's a pretty good time of the year. <clears throat> So this is my favorite painting, right here. And the biggest inspiration for that was um, a story of the little prince. Um, in there, one of his companions is a fox. <laughs> so I wanted to paint the fox in like a forest of fire, but like in a, but if you look at him, he looks very peaceful and like, content with where he's at in his life and I just wanted to represent like you know even though things might be chaotic and and destructive around you that it's gonna be okay you know just hang in there push through and things will get better I know because things have gotten better for me my goodness um <laughs> my youth certainly wasn't <laughs> what uh, it wasn't ideal uh <laughs> so this is kind of like a representation of that, and this is my favorite painting. So I'm glad you asked. Thank you. And if you ever get a chance, read The Little Prince. Um, not gonna regret it, I promise. There's even a movie about it, so, like an animated movie. Oh my gosh, you flatter me, oh my god. Oh, you're so sweet, thank you so much. <laughs> so yeah, that's my favorite painting there. I'm gonna put that one away and then I'll be right back. And I hang my artwork on my wall. I love to look at my own art. Here, let's get some more light on this. Perfect. Oh, you're so sweet. You know, outside of my family, I've only had one other um, <clears throat> person, like, commission me for my art. So, I'm definitely what some might call a new artist. <laughs> I've never shared my art before, like, I've always just kept it to myself, like, I've never even put myself online before, um, so I was always scared to connect with people, and, you know, I guess the fear of rejection, but since I've been doing this, it's been incredible, I've met some of the most amazing people, including yourself, like, just the encouragement is, it's, it's wild. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna get a little bit more blue on there. 
and we're gonna have fun and we're gonna add some shadows so to do that I'm gonna dip into blue and I'm gonna pretend that there's like folds or pleats happening in this blanket so here's where one is and then you want to have like your second fold over here so I'm gonna put the second there you want to have like a fold right here Wow, you're going in June, eh? Oh man, must be exciting but scary at the same time. Let's see here. And it's okay to get messy with your paint. Uh, before you joined, I was also saying, like, there's no one way to paint. My goodness. I go online and I see these people, you know, some of them get really passionate about how you're supposed to do things. And I believe as long as you're having fun, that is all that matters and if you make something that's beautiful in your eyes again that is all that matters so we're just gonna put some plates oh this is gonna look so good I already know it now the painting that I showed you the one of the Fox um, that one it took me eight hours to paint that so it's not bad um, for that size I think I should paint something hard next <laughs> well I think uh, the lion painting that I'm working on right now that's pretty hard to me goodness I, I'm trying to master like photo realism so I hope I can evolve my art someday to like trick you like it's a photograph but I think I have a ways to go before doing that. I don't know. I feel like I haven't unlocked my potential just yet. I feel like I'm almost there. But they say practice makes perfect. So as long as I keep practicing one day, I know I will get it. Because when I first started painting, I wasn't the greatest. I don't think anybody's like good at anything unless you're like a born savant. <laughs> naturally gifted <laughs> okay so this is where we're gonna have fun with the white we're gonna start doing the little floofies okay so we'll turn our well around and we're gonna get some of that and for fur I actually recommend like an angle brush just like this one right here and you'll see why in a second because I'm gonna get some water in the paint. It just helps it glide off the brush easier. And we're gonna make some fuzzies. We're not gonna do his outer just yet. I guess you could say we're gonna start from the middle and work our way out. Um, Cause I do wanna put a little bit of detail into him. I know I said I didn't want to, but. And when I drag this across, you'll see that it's making like, these wisps like there's little hair and we're gonna break that up with some blue eventually so I'm gonna get some white here and some blue we're gonna mix these two together because it's gonna give us that gray And then when we add that in, it's just going to give it a little bit more depth. And this is just the first layer, so I'm going to see a bit of that purple peeking through, but that's fine. This is what I want right now. I've always imagined um, painting like uh, almost like a, you know, I don't know if you've ever worked with computer programs or... Um, drawing apps where you work in layers I try to imagine it in layers or like when you're in school you know how you see like your books and it shows you like you know the outside of the apple has its skin and then underneath the skin it's all pale I'll try to imagine it like that and with my education because I have like a background in sciences I had an opportunity to learn about things that a very fine uh, microscopic level so 
just gave me an appreciation for like the fine little details. <clears throat> oh, what other hobby do I have except painting? That's a great question. So I love to sing. That is another hobby of mine. Um, so in my spare time, I will play my jams and sing to myself. I used to love reading, but I'll be honest with you, I don't think I've picked up a book in years. <laughs> um, I've just been so busy with painting. It's almost consumed me, really. I find myself painting almost every day. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I, I love it. I know he doesn't look the best right now, but trust the process. <laughs> oh, um, I think last time you mentioned you were working on a shark. I hope that painting's coming along. Oh, you do ballet. That's amazing. Awesome. So you like to dance. That's great. I wish I had skills to dance. I think I'm decent. That's amazing that uh, you do ballet, though. I've always wanted to do ballet growing up. Uh, I never had an opportunity to, though, but that's okay. I'm gonna make him a wispy little floofy guy. He's gonna be very floofy. You can do the splits. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think I've been able to do the splits since elementary. <laughs> I think it's incredible that you've got like a lot of hobbies and you're keeping yourself like busy and I don't know, in a way, I guess, cultured. I don't, I don't know <laughs> if that's the best way to say it, but it gives you life experience. And I think that's crucial. I think it's critical. I think it's important to get out there and see the world. And You have a dance partner? Cool. Okay. At first it's weird, but it's okay to have a partner. Yeah, I can understand that. And like at the end of the day, your partner's there to support you, right? So whatever kind of moves you're doing, um, they're kind of like your shadow, right? Like your backup or your support. It teaches you teamwork too. I think that's really awesome when you can just synchronize with somebody and it almost becomes like a second language. Like, like it's only you two that get each other. <laughs> it's a boy. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> well, that's always fun. Nothing wrong with a boy partner or a girl partner if you want to have one. That, there's nothing wrong with that. I love teamwork. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and I think growing up, like, that's a really big skill that you need in life as well. Not just in the hobbies or the things that you do, but like in your actual career, being able to work with others as a team and it, it, it's going to make your life a lot easier. Because sometimes you're going to run into people that you don't quite like and you just got to push through it. And I think teamwork skills has a lot to do with that. And one thing I've learned is you don't have to, not everybody has to like you in life. Um, I know we want to be liked by everyone, but just be prepared for that. But I want you to know you're awesome. And you're vegetarian. Cool. Okay. That is awesome. I don't think I can ever go vegetarian or vegan. Um, I've had friends that uh, were, certainly. But I don't think I myself could. I have um, iron deficiency. So I need to eat meat on a regular basis. And I don't think I could get that from a vegetarian diet. I might be able to. Gosh, maybe I'm just making excuses. <laughs> you can do anything you want, right? 
So I guess we're running a little bit over on time, but I really just want to demonstrate like how I'm getting his floof down. This is just the first layer, so imagine I'm going to add like a bit of a light blue to this and I'm going to add like darker blues and then I'm going to come back in with the white and all of this is going to peek through like gentle shadows. <clears throat> oh, you're starting today. Oh my gosh. That is a very big change. Good for you. I know in this day and age, it's much easier to be a vegetarian and there's such good foods at the grocery stores that you could buy now. Like you don't have to eat meat, especially with how expensive meat products are. And, I'm, and I think there are studies now, I might be wrong, you might have to do some research here, but I'm pretty sure meat is not as healthy as it once was. <laughs> he looks like a big ball of fur right now, it's adorable. So we're going to do his little floofs later. And then we want to get... The ones on his ear aren't as long, so we can just stipple that. Oh, excuse me. Is that school? Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is... Uh, wow. I'm sorry you had to see that. Uh, wow. Really? Jeez, is that the, what they show in school these days? Crazy. What? First off, <laughs> I don't think... What? It's a little gruesome, isn't it? But then again, like, with my... Like, I know, like, just the way I was raised, like, that was kind of, like, normal, I guess. They used to, like, sacrifice animals and stuff, like, for... <sighs> religious holidays and whatnot so like I remember my brothers and I like had to be there and like help out and stuff not fun <laughs> so I totally get the disdain I, I totally understand it <laughs> oh thank you I appreciate that you think so oh thank you yeah, well, I hope that, like, in time, there's more people that can join us and, you know, they can learn a little bit and see if they can take anything away from, like, my little painting sessions. Oh, yes, I have brothers, yeah. I have three younger brothers, so I was the eldest in my family. And the only girl. <laughs> so, you can imagine that, uh, I'm not sure if you're boy or girl, but, uh, it, for me, at least, it was, uh, interesting. <laughs> With Middle Eastern families, typically, they want, like, you know, a son first, so... I was not a son, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, yeah, uh, my parents didn't know I was gonna be a girl until I was born, so back then in Turkey, I guess, uh ultrasounds were like a luxury thing so they didn't find out until after i was born oh right now what i'm doing is i'm doing the little lines for his snoot so we're just gonna get his little little snooze right here we can always add to that later but right now that's his little snooze yeah i was I'm the only girl in my family. And I think the second or third girl on my dad's side? There aren't many girls in my family, that's for sure. Hmm. <laughs> must be a Middle Eastern thing. Do you consider yourself Middle Eastern? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't know. I feel very Canadian. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're running over on time, but I'm having so much fun. I don't want to stop. Um, maybe we'll do a little bit more. So right now, I am just working out the shadows underneath him. So we're just going to put some little shadows. And like I said, you can paint however you want. There's no one way to do something in life. You can do anything however you want. 
and you have the power to do whatever you want. Gosh, I want nothing but the best for you. I really hope that, like, you get the education that you need and, and want and and you get to do what, the things you want in life. I think that's so big. It shapes you into a better person, too. Gosh, I just want nothing but goodness for you. <laughs> hmm. Thanks for joining me today. Um, let's see here. Oh, we have a second uh, viewer. Welcome. <laughs> Hi, welcome to our stream. <clears throat> so in this episode, we are trying to paint a bunny. And I had challenged myself to um, do this in half an hour, but I think I lost it already. <laughs> I lost the challenge. But you know what? I'm having fun. And chatting through it answering some questions feel free to an like ask me any questions i'm i'd like to think i'm a pretty open book <laughs> i'll talk about anything and we just want to add some more shadow my cool trick with shadows is if you take a little bit of water you can dilute down the edges that you just made so i don't even need paint for this part i just need water and then that's like a little shadow after it dries and I'll carry it over here same idea no oh, thank you doodle world I appreciate you I hope your uh, shark paintings coming along I think I mentioned that already but I hope you're doing it I hope it's coming along um, let's see here We'll do a little bit more shadow work here. <laughs> do you guys have any hobbies, our new viewer? Um, so mine is painting and I love to sing. So anytime I have alone time to myself, I'll usually be singing my little heart out. Yeah. Okay. So what we did by doing that little exercise is we added some dimension. So I guess that's this is what uh, people would call adding dimension dimension into your work. And I try to use black very seldomly, like I will use it at the very end, and that's to apply contrast. That's my little trick to making my paintings come to life, is by using black very last. And, and the way I use it is very uh, unique as well, so it will be cool to teach you guys that at some point. Alright, let's make his little slits for his eyes. Um, so we're going to go in there with that dark. And I think his eyes are going to be like right here-ish. Yeah, and he's going to be sleeping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to finish up this painting and then I'll post it. And if anybody wants it, just send me an email and I'll frame it and send it your way. I don't want anything for it. It's just like a thank you for <laughs> just being here. <laughs> you know, it, it means the world to me. Like, you have no idea. Starting this whole YouTube journey, it was terrifying. Oh my god, I thought I didn't have what it takes. You know, I was gonna fail and nobody would be interested, but it's just been nothing but positive vibes. And I love that. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, so if you go to, like, my main channel, uh, you know how, like, your YouTube channel has, like, a description of what the channel's about and whatnot? You can flip to, like, the About tab, and you'll see, like, we have an email address. It's getandgivecrafts at gmail.com. So, just have your parents reach out, and I'll send this your way. I'd be honored. <laughs> I don't want anything for it. I just 
This is just like my thank you. It's I'm tremendously grateful for this opportunity. It's 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 life changing, you know? Like I could feel my life changing just by doing like this small act. Um you know, interacting with people, putting myself out there. It's it's helped me become more confident in myself. And what I'm doing here, Doodle World, is I've got a little bit of water. I've watered down that paint, and I'm applying it almost like a shadow here. I will add another layer afterwards just to make it more alive, but... It's wet, so it's fine. That water is just going to help that paint stick even more. <laughs> oh, thank you. You can already see, like, it's kind of coming to life, right? Like, just by putting that little shadow along the ear, it just made that ear pop. And we're going to add, like, a darker underneath part to that, too, so you can see the little ear flap. Um, we're gonna do that on top of the ear, just here. You'll see why later. Because when we put the white on top, it's just gonna make it that much more 3D looking. And then he, I guess he's got a bit of a darker shadow on top of his snoot here, so... We'll put the shadows here. Because he's sleeping. He's snoozing. And then we'll carry some shadow down here. And this is like a dark blue that I made using um, sapphire blue and black. And these are the paints that I get from the dollar store. So you don't have to buy extremely expensive paints. You can get the job done with dollar store brands. Or Walmart. That brand's also in Walmart. It's not like an exclusive dollar store thing. Um... Oh my gosh, I had an amazing opportunity. Um, I don't know if it's gonna happen. It might happen. So my girlfriend in the United States, she lives in the state of Virginia. Um, she's gonna be opening up her own like Emiratis, like, uh... oh, Tala, your name is beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's really nice to meet you. Oh, <laughs> it's gorgeous. Yeah, so my girlfriend in the States, she wants to open, like, an Emiratis, like, old Dubai kind of, um, restaurant. So she asked me if I could go there and, uh, paint a mural in, like, like an actual, like, huge wall art design for her. Um, that's reminiscent of, like, old Dubai, as she calls it. So, I don't know what that means just yet, but I have some research to do. I told her I could do it. Just based on the pictures that she sent me, like the reference stuff. Oh, Tala, your name is beautiful. So I go by Mrs. G online, but I've got a pretty Middle Eastern name. <laughs> um, you know, I'll be honest with you. I think your name's gorgeous, and I don't like my own name. <laughs> I have never liked my name. And I think the reason for that is like, okay, so Tala is easy to pronounce, right? But my name, it, it's not every person I've met they're like um how do you say your name how do you say your name so it's made me frustrated with it growing up that's for sure <laughs> and that's kind of why I go by just Mrs. G for now I don't know maybe one day I will learn to love my name <laughs> oh thank you yeah, so I'm, I'm going by Mrs. G for now, and I know, like, a day is going to come where I'm going to have to share my name, real name. I, I know. <laughs> I'm, I guess I'm working myself up to that point right now. A big part of that is, like, learning to love my own name, I guess. I hope that's not, like, too real. <laughs> Gosh. You know, I wanted this live stream to be, like, only half an hour, but I am having so much fun. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I think we might end it pretty soon, but I'm nowhere near done with this painting. Like, I will make a post as soon as it's done. And then, um, if you do want it, 
just reach out and uh, I'll buy a cute frame for it get like a nice little signature and uh, write a cute little message at the back and yeah it's all yours <laughs> that's cool a piece of my art is gonna be floating around in the world somewhere I think that's amazing so you can see just by like adding those little shadows you see how like the bunnies coming to life it's giving it depth like like that 3d feel to it and that's what I'm going for and, and we're gonna soften up his eyes I know they look like little uh, little scratches right now but it's gonna get there this is how it always starts for me <laughs> I call it controlled chaos <laughs> But that's what I love about the painting process. You can do absolutely whatever you want. As long as it's true to you and you're enjoying what you're doing, that's all that matters. Oh, 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 one thing I can teach about brushes. Okay, okay. So when I get, like, my fine little details, so let's say I, I want to show you something. Okay, okay. All right. So just before I go, maybe this will be my last little bit. I want to show you how I get the fine little uh, fur strands. So this brush right here, I customized it using a, oh, a little razor blade. So I took away half of this brush so that it has, like, an itty-bitty fine tip. And then what I do is once you're wet or once your paint is wet enough, so I got some water in here and I'm just giving that a mix. Just like I said in my last video, when it's wet enough, it'll just glide off that brush like a fine little tip. So I'll demonstrate right here. And that is the tiniest little lines. And that's how I get my little details. It is very meticulous and it, and it does take time, but you know what? I love the look that it gives. And you can go in any direction you want that works for you. I'm gonna go inwards. You can already see his little paws are starting to get floofy. And that's how I have to put the floof in. Aww. No problem at all. No problem at all. Well, you know what? I think this is a great stopping point anyways. I just wanted to demonstrate how I get the little strands of fur. So definitely have to cut down your brush. You could do it with a pair of scissors or if you have a knife. Just be very careful. Maybe ask your parents for help with it. And then um, shave down that brush so it has a finer tip. I think I once heard an artist say that a good artist doesn't blame their tools so you will always make your tools work for you and I like improvising too <laughs> well you know what I hope you have a fantastic night thank you so much for joining me I really appreciate you and I'm gonna keep working on this a little more and when it's done I'll post it and yeah just uh keep in touch um I'll be back next week, same time, on Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And yeah, <laughs> it was so nice talking to you, Tala. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a great weekend. And I'll see you in the next video then. I'll wait for you to say goodbye before I roll out. <laughs> Also, I am not giving my kids a hard to say name, that is for sure. <laughs> They're getting American names. Awesome. Bye, dear. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Night. <laughs>